Good morning. Yet again, Mark, your mayor, having one of his High Street Hero interviews. This time I have Helen from the treasure chest uh, on the triangle. Helen, I'm delighted to welcome you to this informal chat. Thank you very much. You, the astute will know that this isn't a Suffolk accent, is it? It isn't, no. no. It's it isn't, Bolton no. and you moved here about six years ago. It isn't a Bolton accent either, oh. but I won't. <laughs> right. <laughs> I will stand corrected. It's a Lincolnshire accent. Uh, yeah. In terms of your shop, I know you've been shut and we've briefly yeah. talked about some of the challenges. How have you tried to adapt your business? Well, we've been lucky to some extent because we already sold online. Uh, we've yeah. been selling online for 20 years, so we actually have got systems in place. So basically what we've done is we've increased the number of books we're listing online, yeah. uh, promoting that as much as we can and luckily the the orders are increasing and so we've been spending our time with sending up to 60 orders a day out um uh, all over the world yeah yeah uh, and, and we, we did yeah well, i was gonna say we did have issues to start off with just getting enough packaging um but course, that's yeah. yeah that's resolved anyway so so yeah. in some respects your shop shut but the the positive is this that you've increased your online Cable. Oh, certainly, yes, yes, it's which really is, increased. Yeah. Yes, and you sell all around the world as well, which is modern technology. Yes, yes, yes. I've I've got to go to the post office. We went to Australia when I finished speaking to you. Good God! Well, that's a fantastic. I don't know how long it'll take to get there. But, uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Uh, I have a stepdaughter in the Philippines, and I know how hard it is to oh, golly, yes. the suffers. Yeah. So getting a book to Australia could be tough. How do you think that's going to help you adapt your business in the future? Do you think? um i don't know it's a very difficult one because we can only adapt to certain to a certain extent because we have we've got sixty thousand books in the shop and the vast majority of those we can't sell online because they're yeah. low value and there's so much competition for paperback novels and things like that um we will adapt in that we will list as much as we can online um yeah that's all we can do you know um we're we're on as many websites selling websites as we can be on you know there's not a lot else we can add other than just keep listing yeah. books because as we were saying your shop i mean i've been in there numerous times delightful shop loads of nooks and crannies and you say it's one of those where tourists will come in or people visiting beings so and just explore and there isn't that capability to explore such a lovely shop at the moment is it no, not while there's a two metre um, restriction. It's just, you know, short of knocking walls down and taking shelves out. And even if we yeah. did that, I don't think we can do it. Um, no. no, so, so it's no. a challenge for you. But no, I, I wish you all the best because I think the, the small independent shops are the real heart of Felixstowe and, and anything we can do through the town council myself in my year, please shout and I'll come and support you. Yeah, thank now, you very much. Appreciate these are it. quick interviews. What's your favourite part of Felix stuff? Um, <laughs> thank you. If you go to Trimley, I think you'd have to say Trimley Marshes, which is where we walk most of the time because it's where we yeah. live. Lovely. Thank you very much, Helen. Okay. Right. Uh, and hopefully this speak to you again in six months and see how you're getting on. Yep, we'll let you know. Okay. okay. Lovely. Thanks.